to Utah. Utah. <laughs> we're in sync, but we're just getting some work done. What's new? Classic Thursday. One day we'll hang out and not do work. I feel like it's just New York gets to you. I'm like, I can't be chill. It's like so 10 times more to just here. work next to each other. Mm -hmm. it, it puts me in a better mood. Me too. Otherwise, I'm like, I'm all alone. I'm isolated. <laughs> just me and my girl. <laughs> from the bathroom because Ashley left and I'm still too awkward to vlog alone. It's fine. I feel like this look is very androgynous, like no makeup, kind of masculine shirt, hair back. I'm into it. It's me. I'm back. I changed. I'm getting ready. I got my makeup and my mirror. I haven't done like a true chatty moment in a hot second. And I love chatting with you guys and updating you and then in the comments hearing about where you're at. So let's let's talk. First off, we've got a sponsorship for today's video and it's kind of the sickest sponsorship ever because it's a company that I have talked about in my last like five beauty videos organically because I just love their products and I literally, literally use them every day. I feel like people are always like, you do too many sponsorships. They're like, oh, do you actually use those product? Which side note, I have to do sponsored videos to create non-sponsored videos because this is my main thing at the moment and so Supergroup is sponsoring this video I'm psyched and they have two products that I'm super psyched to talk about I am starting off my little makeup look today with their zinc screen it's 100% mineral lotion love this stuff love how clean their products are for one and also SPF is so important daily to protect your skin for the long run and I love this stuff because it goes on really smooth it's good for oily skin or dry skin and I love Supergroup because again their products are really clean they don't have like parabens or synthetic fragrances and they're all cruelty free and just all the good things. I'll jump into the other product when I finish this makeup look. So now I'm going in with Laura Mercy foundation. Hope you guys are doing well and having a great summer. I've been doing really well recently. To be super honest, I was like in a pretty rough place in May. I think I like actually really got hit by post-grad depression or blues for the first time. I don't want to use the word for depression lately, but I just kind of felt all the weight of like, oh my gosh, like what am I doing with my life? Am I making the right choices? Where should I be headed? Am I doing enough? And it's so easy to get into that trap of just like, who am I? What's my purpose? I was just feeling like really, I think alone and kind of lost. And then I went back to California, if you've seen that vlog, and I think that really like centered me for lack of better terms, getting to see family and old friends and being like, no, I'm, I'm doing what I wanna do. I'm on like a pretty good path. And then recently I've seen such a drop in views <laughs> on my channel. And I know a lot of that happens because of summertime, but also I'm like, oh, what's that happening? I feel like any YouTuber when that happens, it's easy to be like, oh my God, my career's over. This is the end. And so I've just tried to be positive about it. I have realized that I've probably been a little less open, I think, in my videos since being, being in New York. And it's not really intentional, but I'm sure subconsciously I want to like just feel like I have things together when in reality every day I'm like, ah, what am I doing? I still love New York. I've realized it's really, how's that bronzer looking? I realized since being here almost a year, which excuse me is crazy. Like how is it already been a year? How tricky it is to build community in a new city. So I just filmed a video that I'm gonna put up soon answering your guys' post-grad questions. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. I think a big question too is like, how to make friends in New York? And I feel like I've realized with time how tricky it is to build a community in a new city. And part of the problem is I'm gone so, so much. Like stuff comes up where I'm gone for the weekend. So I feel like I met quality people, but realistically when it comes down to it, I'm like, I really dig this person. I'd love to hang out with them. But like our schedules don't align for three weeks and you can't build like a real community of friends or like build make a friendship deeper if you only see them like once a month. And so I'm trying to kind of navigate that. I met such solid people and I want to like deepen those friendships, but it's hard. And I think I'm still trying to find my voice on this platform, if that makes sense. I'm kind of figuring out who I want to be because it's easy when you're in a certain routine to kind of identify with that. So if you're a college student, identifying with college content, or if you're like super strongly in fashion, or if you work at nine to five, I feel like people kind of cling on to that identity and kind of stick to it, which makes perfect sense. I mean, I have for sure. 
but I definitely want to diversify and kind of discover how I want to share and create content in my own unique way. It's just a whole jumble going on up here just trying to figure it out. Anyway, back to our sponsor content. I'm gonna finish off now with the Super Goop setting powder. This is also SPF 45 and it's sweat resistant so it is perfect to carry in your bag throughout the day so when you get a little sweaty you can just do a little touch up and it mats your face and protects your skin. This is a great way to reduce shine which I've clearly got a little bit going on right now so I'm just tapping it lightly on my wrist until it comes out and then I'm just gonna lightly brush it all over my face. It's 100% zinc oxide so it's just kinder on your face sets really easily and comfortably. All right, I think this is the finished look. Hope you like it. I'm gonna put on a little lip color and put a few curls in my hair and then I gotta head out. I'm running late. What's new? But yeah, I'd love to hear how you guys are doing. I'd love to hear what videos you wanna see. I'm so down to start getting a little bit more creative. I feel like I've made the same types of videos for so long. I think it'd be fun to like mix it up and do things that I've never done before. I'm rambling, I gotta go. I gotta fix this mess and then I gotta run out, but Obviously, I'm bringing you guys, so stay tuned. Okay, hi, this is the final look. Gently curled my hair. I'm wearing this pink jumpsuit from La Casa. Some white boots from Steve Madden that I've had forever, and yeah, running late, let's go. yesterday was super sick and I actually ended up getting drinks with friends after but I didn't film it and now I'm headed to a bar class oh, I just have a work day I think I'm working from home I'm working with my assistant today it's gonna be a good Friday But I feel like recently on my Instagram people are saying that they enjoy the lifestyle content in New York as opposed to like working content that's not as relatable. So I'll include some clips of me getting stuff done, but overall I'll kind of focus on like life in New York with this vlog. I am about to film a video, but that's what I'm up to. Classic Friday. Hi from me and Axine. Walking past Tompkins Square Park. We're about to get some work done. Uh, Reese. Is that what it's called? Three seat. Three seat. Three seat. One of our favorite coffee shops. Also, we just walked into this church that we always walk by and it just like blew our minds. It's like one of those reasons why I love New York. Yeah, it was like an actual European Like beautiful church. cathedral. It's one of those things you just like step inside. You're like, New York is the Where coolest. are we? <laughs> Where am I? It's so 
Saturday. Hello for me and Sophia. Hi. We got flowers and we got fruit and it was lovely. And veggies. She was a trooper because I missed the class we were supposed to take together. I had to do it alone. <laughs> but it was delightful. She's the best. And now we got fruit for the weekend. Yes. It's gotta be. So, from Brooklyn. We rented these scooters off the side of the street. It's a snow. It's gotta be against the law to look this damn good. Everybody, watch out. Watch out now. I'm ready for a good time. And I came to grow. Right now I'm back in Greenpoint, which is where I was last night. But I'm back in Brooklyn to catch up with some friends at their apartment. <laughs> I saw this little tram, Let's see if I can zoom in on it, right there. As I was crossing the bridge, I'm like, what is that? That looks so sick. I want to take it. I mean, Fletcher had plans to hang out this evening, so I was like, yo, you want to take the tram? So we decided to first off train over to Roosevelt Island, which is this little island in between Manhattan and Queens. Fun, free adventure if you're in New York. Also another fun, free adventure I highly recommend is to take the ferry. It's only like $2, you basically have a free boat tour of uh, New York City.